What's happened? I got another truckload of classic Hondas. We did a pickup in upstate New York. This guy had a huge collection. I'll put up a video of it, maybe 70 Hondas. And uh, I got there like, I don't know, five o'clock. We went through them all. But it took like four hours to go through it, all 70 bikes and analyze them. And we were $2,000 off on the price on it. And I said, let me call Junior and see, see, see what he thinks. And, he, and, he, and uh, I called Junior and Junior said, nah, don't, don't, uh, don't go any higher, man. They're... Uh, we're kind of at the, at the our upper limit of what we pay, and he called it. He called his pops, and his pop said he wouldn't uh, budge it. I guess his dad owned half of it, so we had a no deal. But I did manage to buy thirteen classics, and what do we got here? Twins, Basil, twins, twin MR fifties, and this CT seventy. This had to come home with me. This thing's basically brand new, lowest mileage ninety two I've ever seen. Uh, Three hundred and sixty five point seven miles on this thing. It's an absolute dime piece. Probably paid more than I than I would have liked to for it, but sometimes for perfection you got to pay up, man. I mean, look at the frame; that's perfect. It's absolutely pristine. It's just a little dusty. We'll we'll dial this thing up, put a gold chain on it, and she'll be ready for prime time. What do you think, Moses? And these are great bikes. It's a long time we've, been, we've seen this car. Look at this. This one, I got really excited. This he didn't even want to sell this one, and um, at the end of the night he was buying a house. That's why I was selling everything. And this is a really rare piece, 86 gold rim Z50, all original. We'll restore that. That, that those are highly collectible. So our, I don't know if you haven't seen our our, our uh, trailer that we hooked up for hauling bikes. It's got everything in here, including the kitchen sink. That's a, a eight gallon water tank that dumps into the toilet. So you gotta you can actually shit, shower, and shave. It's kind of basic, but hey, we're on the road. I didn't get home to 1:30 last night. Look at this. Look at this thing. All original MR50. Look at that thing, huh? These are highly collectible. This one's all original and in excellent condition. You just don't find them like this. Twins, Basil, twins. So John Lee's been, been fitting right in with the team here. We got him detailing bikes and getting it done. How's it going, John? Doing good. You doing good? Yeah. This is more fun than working on computers, isn't it? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and look what I got. Ooh, baby. XR540 night flat tracker. Man, I can't wait to get this thing going. I actually, uh, it's already, it's already going. We just got to detail it. But um, that I have a matching XR75 for that one. But back to the load. Another MR50. This one just needs a seat cover and a little bit of love. She'll be good to go. Look at this. Th this one here. This one here. I got, I got really excited about this thing. Put it on the kickstand for a second, would you? This is an all original. He had literally seven or eight of these, and and, I, and he goes, this one's. I don't want to sell this one. Of course, this is the one I had to have. This is all 100% original. Z50, right down to, well, everything on it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I paid up for this one, but if you know what it costs to do a frame up on one of these, it's very expensive and very time consuming. This one just needs a wash, wax, and buff. She's ready for the museum. Next up, I bought a, 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 a quadruplets. This one's a CB100. Um, 2,723 original miles. Chains look is, is is a little crusty, rusty, and broken, but uh, it needs a side cover and a points cover. But other than that, no miles on this thing, man. We'll put a gold chain, buff it, wash it, wax it, detail it. She'll be ready to go. If you got a collection of Hondas you want to sell, or ha Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Gas Gas, we don't care if it's got two wheels and a motor, give us a call. We're always looking to buy bikes at Kaplan Cycles. That's how we make the magic happen around here. This is number two of four. Look at this thing. CB125, signal sooner. We got four of these. How many miles in that one? 3,000. I, 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 plucked, I plucked the cherries out of the load. So we got this thing that all hooked up. We got three wheel chocks that go in the center. Look at what John Lee's got right there. John, show, show, us, show us what that is. That's a brand new NOS MR50 exhaust pipe. That was another cherry. What do you got there, Ron? See, tell me what's on the odometer. No, 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 not 5,000. Look a little closer, son. 26 miles? No, look look a little closer. Five miles. 502. 502. 502 original miles on an original paint, aquamarine blue, 125S. That's going to be an absolute showpiece when we're done with it. You just don't find them with 500 miles on them because they're so fun to ride. This this is another one he didn't want to sell. I, I tried, you know, the ones he didn't want to sell were the super nice ones. This was the first bike he bought as a Honda collector many moons ago. Young, younger guy, um, had a big collection, 
This one's got 5,376 miles on it, 10 times the miles of the other one, but these are bulletproof and uh, pretty much a, a forever bike. Next out, this this is what got me up there in the first place. He called, said, I don't generally like to go on a five hour round trip because some people you know change their mind four or five times. In fact, that actually happened on this deal. I'll talk about that in a second, but um, people change their mind. So I said, let's do an icebreaker deal. You got 60 bikes. I don't want to go up with this massive truck and trailer and spend hundreds of dollars of fuel and 12 hours of my time unless we have a deal. So we made a deal on this four track 70 and it is absolutely all original and in mint shape. It's got a, a blown out right rear tire because someone put a tube in it. You're not supposed to put a tube in those things. Uh, they're not radial tires. But this is this is a, a fluff and buff away from being under somebody's Christmas tree. Super rare to find them this nice. That thing's super nice. Now, triplets, Basil, triplets. Not only one, absolutely gorgeous Honda ATC 70, all original. Um, there's a, the, the ignition covers off of it because he was fiddling with ignition but i've got the ignition uh cover and this thing's gonna shine up like a new penny too that's number one then we got in here i said triplets basil triplets one of these is finer than all the others the two of them are really nice and one of them is exceptionally nice now keep in mind these are 40 year old kids bikes and usually kids ride the wheels off of them every once in a while you'll find a, a kid who you know either didn't take to it or the parents uh let it set and went on to other things or they did stick and ball sports which i don't recommend over motorcycling but um just to find it an original 70 like this let alone from triplets what do you think cop uh, these are awesome these have a huge following behind them it's actually insane yeah yeah there's actually a club that races these things and they put like 140 big board kits and oh, yeah, they, they've raced here at the museum they it's they extend it, the swing arms on them. it's ridiculous how fast they go they've got two, two extra pipes for the 70s more cool. tires so yeah, this trailer's all hooked up for hauling massive quantities. Mosey, you're pouring oil out, pouring oil, put it down, put it down, put it down. What are you doing? Put it down. You're pouring oil everywhere. Moses, you just poured oil all over my trailer. What are you doing? I can't, this is why I can't have nothing nice around here. And this is why the guys aren't really even allowed in my Bud Light trailer. Just to be straight up honest with you. Son of a bitch. Freaking oil all, that's, that'll never come out. How are we gonna get that out of there? If we're gonna ruin the trailer, might as well do it right away. Uh, why, why wait, right? But anyways, we have this trailer all hooked up for hauling bikes. It's got three wheel chocks, forwards in the front. Then there's another row of three that goes here. That's six. Another three that goes here. That's nine and three that way. So you can haul 12 big bikes, like big touring bikes, forwards. Sideways, we've had as many as 19. We set it up so that you can put the bike sideways. That's why there's E-Track. If you ever hook up a trailer to haul bikes, you want three rows of E-Track like this. One two three a couple up on the nose and uh these are permanent permanently mounted they can be removed but those are we don't generally remove those we leave those on there and we got our chairs we got our uh business cards air gauge some little storage uh a rack here for cleaning fluids of course you got your pens and pencils and brochures and you got your uh and we have the tie down racks on the wall here I like to try to keep everything nice and organized. It's our air, air tank for flat tires. And then here, these cabinets come in handy. Because if you're on a pick and you get something really exclusively nice like this, like this brand new TRX 70 tank, uh, brand new plastic NOS, you want to keep it nice. The boom blanket. We've got our trash cans. We don't like the litter, rags, uh, funnel. We have not only one. But we have three 10 by 10 awnings if you're at a, sh a show for a whole weekend. We got a nice fold out table right here, six foot table, umbrellas. We've got uh, brooms, so because we sweep this out every time after we're done, right, John? Yep, every time. Yeah, we got all these tie down clips. These all come right off the wall. And I just got these this week. These are these little hanging hooks so you can hang, hang stuff off of them. Got a bunch of those, and they're movable. They can go in the E track pretty much anywhere. We got these two helmet hooks right here. We just got those this week. So we got this thing. This isn't our first rodeo. We've been doing this for, well, 50 years, since I was seven years old with my dad. Uh, so this thing's about as good as you can hook up a trailer for hauling motorcycles. And it's not, you know, the inside is um, plywood and uh, we didn't make it too fancy because sometimes these things happen, accidents happen, right, Moses? Oh yeah. 
and uh, I try not to have an e check on the floor is a bit of a bit of a issue when you have like when you pour oil or sand in the middle of it, it makes it harder to get out but we'll clean it out that's what we do right old school you know it brother We've got a couple toolboxes uh, and then this um, multi-purpose toolbox it's got all the wrenches and ratchets and everything you need when you're on the road and something goes wrong but um, if you're gonna hook up a trailer this is a good good template for it gotta have a jack too you get a flat tire this is a triaxle trailer so sometimes you can just put a board under underneath the front tire if one blows out and just drive up on it but if you got three flats you're screwed uh, the, speaking of tires the, the spare tire is in the floor right here which is really nice and we got an extra bottle jack in there and so yeah that's how you hook up these are removable pingle chocks these go into these little pingle removable chocks there so that's how we do it that's how i make the magic happen here want to give that to kyle that's an nos mr50 that's how we have the trailer hooked up so now when after these come in kyle how many bikes have we got in the last week we got 24 at rice arama and then we got 16 at the harley pick that's 40 and then james delivered seven we had a few onesie twosies so we're up over 50. i bought an eight the other night uh and now these so what is that that's 58 plus these 13 that's 60 that's 71 bikes that we bought in since last thursday it, that's when we started the heart the, it was thursday the harley pick wasn't yep. it so but well, we love these little 70s man and these hondas parts are available they're absolutely indestructible there's a reason why the whole industry has copied this engine design mostly the japanese and the, uh i mean excuse me chinese industry has reverse engineered these motors because they're absolutely freaking bulletproof and so aren't these 125s that's why i grabbed these a lot of the bikes you'll see in the in the pick video that i'm going to put up like we're missing a lot of parts and stuff and uh to find them complete and nice like this is really the way to do it and these mr50s are highly collectible uh the ct70 with no miles on it, it's an absolute home run and that 86 that had a we if you if you google 86 z50 you'll see the one we restored to concourse quality before it came out absolutely freaking beautiful here's another project coming that uh manic mechanic just did the super tune on this one it's a 504 honda this thing's sick brand new pipes on it all tuned up we got andrew's rm 250 which you probably saw in the video yesterday doc's been working on the turbocharged harley but he's been out sick this week so hopefully he'll be back got this really nice vulcan v twin i bought for my buddy harry super clean cb 900 custom look what ronnie got looks like christmas came early for ronnie huh nice new box man ronnie got a brand new snap-on toolbox to match his, his white cart that he's got andrew just got all hooked up too so both the guys got brand new snap-ons man look at these things now they didn't pay retail for them did you you, you got a deal on them uh i don't know it was like uh was it a repossession deal from the snap-on dealer yeah somebody didn't pay their bill it's a way to get them man you buy it buy them at a discount what do we got here ain't no joke amen what do we got here a little xl 70. Yeah. yeah this is the one we picked up at rice arama this thing's gonna be sick yeah. this has got a brand new top end on it too runs really good uh the carb that's on it's not made for it so it doesn't run all that great. oh it's got a different carb on it so you gotta change yeah, the carb Figure out the issues. cool what a beautiful what a beautiful uh paint job and uh graphics on it very cool the mini flat tracker i told you we had we had twins here this is or uh father it's like uh, this one here's a mini me I'll, sh I'll show you what i'm talking about this one's a mini me look at this thing super trap pipe coney shocks very cool it's a mini me of this other one roof guys here roof you, guys you're gonna here. you're gonna fix our roof i'm hoping awesome How awesome Good, good. Dean's been doing patching on the roof for the last year, and uh, now we're about to get a quote to replace it. So hopefully it'll go good. What company are you with? Millstream Construction. Millstream. Yeah, you guys, you guys got a good reputation. Yeah, we try. I man. hope, so hope you. you. I hope you get the job, man. Me too. So stay tuned. We're, we're actually getting moving forward with um, actual roof replacement. This is the big one right here. Look at that thing. Five forty, night frame. It's Mimi. Yeah. What's going on, Mimi? That's Kenny's Kenny's grandmother. How you doing? This is Kenny's grandmother, Mimi. You've probably seen her in the videos before. What's going on, Mimi? Uh, just going up to the hairdresser. So you used to race cars, didn't you? That's where, that's where, the, it's in the family genes, right? Sure the hell is. <laughs> what kind of stock car did you race? Um, different ones. I, my number was 47. You're kidding me. 
Okay. 47? You, you see that number? You see that bike over there? Yeah. That's number 47 too. And I got an XR75 with a 47 on it. Oh my god. That's funny. Yeah. So so where'd you race? Uh, it was at Riverside, which is Six Flags now. We should get we should get you another car and have you uh, have love. you go out and take one more one more I hot lap around. I can't get in the window anymore. Well, Kenny, pick you up and put you right in there. He's a beast. He'll pick you right up. <laughs> Well, it's good to see you out zooming around the neighborhood today with your with your uh, electric car. Yeah, I gotta get a few things and <laughs> I well, so like it pink. They I think it's cool. They didn't have purple. Always good to see you, Mimi. It's nice to see you, Kenny. Always. God bless. Okay. Have a great day. Okay, bye, bye, hon. So we're back to work here. So now me and Kyle, we gotta come up with a project plan for every one of these. So we're gonna sign off. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have all these up and running in no time some killer videos of them running. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. And as always, God bless America.